Um, Dave plays the Native American flute. Um, if you're not familiar with this, this is going to be uh, uh, a very new experience for you and a really uh, awesome one. Dave discovered Native American flute five years ago in Santa Fe uh, and formed an instant kinship with the instrument. He explores the range of colors and emotions that the flutes evoke, and you will get that right away, and specializes in introspective improvisations on a variety of flutes that draw out an endless stream of melodic ideas. And this is not an exaggeration, folks. You'll hear Celtic influences, you'll hear sad plaintive songs, you'll hear meditative songs, and you see this five and a half footer that he's got, it'll blow your mind. Um, many of the flutes are unusual, and I can tell you from experience that it sounds like, with some of them, that they sound like actually multiple players playing at the same time. He's performed frequently at open mics in the Baltimore area, which is where I met him in Edith May's Paradise. And this will be his first, this is his first extended set for a live audience. And uh, we asked Dave to come down here. I asked him to come down the first time that I heard him at Edith Mays and just sign up and do three like everybody else. Because I wasn't sure how it was going to work. And what happened was that about 15 seconds into the first number, the entire room just went home. And I said, this is, this is wonderful. So we got to bring him back for a half an hour. Uh, and there we are. So uh, we're going to take a couple of seconds just to get some uh, uh, volume levels here, and then Dave is going to perform for you. That's Dave Bennett. So give him a round of applause, eh? Thanks a lot, Dan, for the, uh, for the reader off here. Thanks for the opportunity to play here. I really appreciate it. Really nice venue. We're happy to see all these people here. Uh, well, nice audience. Cool. Thanks for my friends for coming out as well. And I'm going to play a bunch of Native American styles. Most of these are not true Native American instruments. I have to be careful about that. The Native Americans are very sensitive. Uh, so if you're going to call it Native American flute, it's better be made by a Native American. So at least half of these are not made by Native American. Uh, they're Native American style uh, flutes. And also, I don't play Native American music. I play my own music, but I love the sound of the, of the Native American flute. Um, so uh, almost everything I do is improvisation. And uh, except for two pieces today, I'm, are actually prepared pieces. But I'm going to start out with uh, improvisation on a branch flute by, made by Jerry Littlejohn down in uh, Asheville, North Carolina.
So in the interest of keeping the uh, mm -hmm. minimize the, 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 the mic adjustment, I'm going to change my set list a little bit. So we're going to jump right to a, a prepared song. It's uh, coming up on uh, Halloween. So this is a bit of a ghost story. It's a traditional Celtic ballad. She moved through the fair. Very, very, very old traditional tune, anonymous. And one of my favorite songs. So uh, is my voice level? If I, I'm out like this, people can hear me well? Yeah. Cool. And she laid her hand on me 
And this she did say, If you not keep on love till the actually made by a true Native American, uh, Guillermo Martinez. Uh, made this flute here down in California. One of my favorite flute makers. Guillermo also makes these amazing double, uh, double flute instruments. They're patterned after some ancient um, pre-Aztec clay flutes that would have two to four chambers. Two of them would have, uh, you'd be able to play melodically, you'd be able to play them simultaneously. So up to four chambers simultaneously, up to two with a drone and, and there's a thumb hole for each hand plus three finger holes. So as a wind, uh, wind player, it's really unusual and, and exciting for me to be able to play melodies um, simultaneously. Two, two melodies, so it's a lot of fun. So I'm back to improvisation now. Thank you. 
now I'm going to do something like, with a, something called a looper pedal. Uh, see if I can pull this off. The unfortunate thing is I'm only practiced with bare feet, so I got to take my shoes off. Uh oh. Uh oh.
And now, so this is definitely not a traditional Native American flute, but it does a native, use a Native American flute mechanism. It's, um, it's amazing the Native American flute was actually embedded fairly late in the, the earliest known flute, surviving flute is like in the mid 1800s. Um, they, came, they were actually invented after Columbus came over to, to the New World. Uh, the, the, the art almost died out, it's been resurrected. But a, a guy named uh, Brad Young down in, uh, down in Virginia makes this amazing flute. Um, this is out of a sassafras board. But back to some more improvisation here. Quick one here, see if I can get a little bit more energy now. It's also made by Brad Young. <laughs> 